My name is John Ash, author, director, and producer of this excerpt of the Helms Bakery Building from my upcoming book, The Art of Listening to Buildings, an enhanced ebook that integrates book narration with photo imagery and videos of characters that contributed to my architecture, including Wally Marks, owner of the Helms Bakery District in Culver City. While leading a tour of the Third Street Promenade for the 2011 Urban Land Institute in Santa Monica, California, Robert York, a real estate broker specializing in existing retail buildings on the west side of Los Angeles, happened to mention that he led a tour of the Helms Bakery Building for a group of university students the day before. I asked him, did you meet with Wally Marks? Robert replied, I did meet with Wally, and he and the bakery campus are doing just fine. Robert suggested I go and look at the changes Wally had made to the complex. I called Wally the next day and made an appointment to see him. He said, come on over for a visit. I told him about the book project and asked if he was interested in providing me with the history of his family's involvement in the building. He said he would be happy to and accepted my request for a meeting the next day at 10 o'clock. I met with Wally and took a tour of the building. Much had changed since the 10 years I had occupied the building from 1983 to 1993. I asked Wally, how did you get involved with the Helms Bakery Project? I, John, I got involved in 1988, um, a few years after college. Um, and I got involved, my dad and my grandfather were still active in the business at that time. Okay. Yeah, and, uh, and regarding the Helms Bakery, the, the, we had bought the building in 74, uh, 1974. How did you come to buy the building? Actually, uh, dad and grandpa brokered the building in 1972, sold it to a private investor, made a few leases, put the antique guild in here, Don Guild, and uh, within the first six months or a year, the owner just didn't want the building, didn't get it, felt that it wasn't the right thing, and my grandfather, being a responsible businessman, felt the obligation to buy it back and make good on the investment. So changed our business from a brokerage company into more of a bit more property management. And at the time, the Helms Bakery was never really empty, I always had tenants. Warehousing and the Antique Guild had, I believe, 150,000 feet at that time. 